Taurus, how you doing? Good morning. So I can hear in a song for you. I can't live if living is without you. Learn the name Livy or Lithuania or anybody or Liz or Linda. Anybody's got L in their name. But I definitely keep hearing like, I can't live if living is without you. I can't live. I can't live anymore. Is this someone that's about to be born or someone that's maybe suffering from an illness here? Because it's like, I don't want to live, I can't live, can I live, can I not live, or Livy, Lithuania, get you in the name Liv, uh, Faith, <laughs> Faith Livia, um, but I keep trying to live, <laughs> so is there an illness here, like uh, a nurse, and like doctors, hospitals, nurses, and like, I can't live anymore, or can I live anymore? Like, I don't know what the answer is. Like, are you looking for an answer? Is there a Virgo? Sorry if you can see smoke. I'm smoking uh, cigarettes. But, like, um, like this energy, it seems to be here of, like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I don't know what the answer is. Like, I, I don't know. Like, what do you want to do? So there are two messages that are coming through for you spiritually before we look into your tarot. Because I've got a new design for you, Taurus. But, like... Something to do around hospitals, nurses, doctors, mental illness, or anything like that, or a nurse or a doctor, and I don't know what the answer is. Like, I, I'm trying to live, but I don't know what the answer is. Trying to find out, right? So it might be where someone's going for an operation or something like this, or if it's also mental health, it's like, well, I don't know what the answer is to mental health because there really isn't one. There's nothing I can really tell you. Like, so, yeah, but how's my mental health state? well mentally ill like i you know i'm not getting any answers from the doctors or from anyone so i really i'm clueless right or george or Clooney, but like you know i've got or georgiana or georgina or anybody's got g in the name but i i've got no idea like i don't know what to do next like i i don't know where to go it's like a second opinion or stuff like this right so that might be to do around mental illness um, and then, because I keep hearing like this, I can't live anymore, <laughs> right? Or like, I can't seem to live here anymore. Like, I don't like where I'm living, okay? And I'm living in a certain place. It might be a fish, life path three or Pisces. If I say place, you say one, two, three, Pisces swinging on a tree. Place, cod, haddock, fish, right? So it's like this, I don't really want to stay in this place anymore. I don't, you know, I just want to get out and I want to move. But where do we go? Well, like, where do we go from? Where do we go from here? But where do we go from here? Like, I... <laughs> Clueless. Like, every time I try to channel for you, I seem to... Four Scorpio or Aries. Okay. And uh, I just keep coming up with the same conclusion. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. We haven't found anything out yet. Okay, it's like, is it a girl or is it a boy? Don't know. <laughs> right, uh, uh, am I ill? Don't know, or I do know, but we can't seem to get an answer. Okay, now some of you, I'm also picking up like I'm trying to ring someone, I'm trying to call them, but they're not answering. Like, why are they not answering? I mean, is someone lost without you? <laughs> right, I can't live. Like, so it's like this lost, like this Virgo energy. Okay, life path nine or Virgo, and I'm lost. Okay, and I don't know what, sorry, if I look over this way, it's because... I am on the screen here, <laughs> okay, um, and I've got a set of questions that we're going to be going over, but it's like this, I feel lost, like, what do I do, like, well, like, this person's gone, they're not picking up, they're not, you know, hanging, I'm also hearing hangman, Pisces, life path three, or um, Hannah, the name Hannah, or Haley or Henry, anybody's got H in the name, uh, okay, anybody that could have also been doing drugs, that would also be Henry, Okay, so I'm definitely picking up like the name Henry. Okay, but Henry in the UK is also, like I said, it's also um, heroin. Okay, so um, you seem to have that message there. Now, there's like, so this is illness, and then also someone lost. Don't know whether they've died, whether they're in the obituaries or not, whether they're actually alive or whether they're not. Okay, trying to get through to someone, but they're not picking up. Not keep hearing Pisces, left path through a Pisces, but I try to get through to them, but they're not picking up. Okay, something like that. Then also, there's this energy of um, I don't know where do we go from here, like where do we go from here? Okay, so there's an energy of two people here discussing something. Okay, now this might be to do with, say, your love life, for instance, right? And where do we actually go now? Like it's like a new beginning, fresh start. Where do we go? Okay, someone also here could be homeless. So I'm picking up like homeless. So I'm hearing Amanda Holmes or Sherlock. <laughs> Could be someone from Britain, maybe. Okay. 
But, like, where do we go from here? It's kind of like something is about to happen or it has happened. Like a new beginning, fresh start, new this, new that, new everything. What do I do? <laughs> right, if I was to move out, where do I go? Okay. Um, yeah, it's like this this oppressed feeling of feeling lost, Taurus. Um, let's get on with your with your reading. So I have designed a few other, it's like a Celtic cross, but it's actually not a Celtic cross because I've changed a lot of the questions, but I'm not doing all 10 on here. This is going to be, so for Patreon, it was going to be based on the whole week. What are your challenges for the whole week? What to focus on for the whole week? What not to focus on for the whole week? Their thoughts for the whole week, their feelings, the outcome the whole week. This is pretty much the next 48 hours, but designed around where are you now is the first question right i have to explain that because it's a different method of what i'm normally reading so for taurus you can watch it as sagittarius taurus or life path five right let's just get on because that's numerology if you follow me in that okay so taurus where are they now so king of pentacles so there is a stable energy here husband or wife okay earning money where are they? Ernest and Earn. Is it something to do around a deceased loved one or something like that? Okay, or the name Ernie or Bernie or Brian or Beth or anybody's got B in their name. Okay. Um, and but could be my surname. <laughs> could be a surname, pseudonym. I was hearing Sue. Susie. So, Susie, you're right, Sue. Susie. Uh, have you got five in your chart? Here. But Susie Quattro or Suzanne or... Um, S, Steve, also. Um, but lost. Don't know where to go from here. Anyway, where is Taurus now? Oh, Jesus, Taurus. So there might be problems where you are now around the sex department. Okay. I'm also hearing department store for someone that works in the shop. Okay, actually works in the shop. And there's a lot of aggression around the shop. Um, well, everyone just stop getting shot. <laughs> okay, someone could be smoking copious amounts of ganja, maybe. But um, here, this is a problem around maybe ADHD and sex here. This is feeling very passionate, very loving. But this energy is uh, it's frustration. I'm getting very sexually frustrated because there either is any or there isn't any. Okay, now, if I have to say this to everyone, if Steph, Jeff, Steve, Sarah, <laughs> I have to say this to everybody. I'm sorry if I go on about this all the time, but it's very important to know whether your partner, your mother, your father, you, your partner, your love interest have ADHD. If you have ADHD, then it is not a spiritual answer that you're looking for. It will be a medical one. But that would be more of a five of swords because it would be mental health. Okay, but because these both show up, it's not five of swords, but it is a five of wands right so it can mean passion and love but this is the dick <laughs> right so or, it, or their name could be dick or richard okay not that they're a dick but dick is also the name for richard right <clears throat> so um <laughs> sorry it's just i <laughs> i know my sister is a sagittarian and he's a taurus <laughs> and his name's richard but we call him dick <laughs> anyway so there's this energy here, right, of like it might be ADHD where there is a problem around sex. Like this person's very stable, okay, they're good at earning money, they're a very supportive energy, they're a very supportive partner. But when it comes down to the sex department, it might be a little bit awkward if a person does have mental health because this is sexually frustrated. And all we seem to be doing is arguing about this, Okay, now this is obviously good ideas, bad ideas. Is this a good idea to do this? Is it a bad idea to do this? Sex and all of these kind of things, passion and love, creation. But this is getting very wound up about it. So I'm not really picking this up as what do I do for my next venture? I'm picking that this up be something to do with around sex here. Okay, so don't forget love on the rocks. Roxy, you're right, Roxy. Um, but don't forget that you can watch this as Life Path 5, Taurus or Sag, okay? Because of fives, okay? Taurus and Sag, they're both major kind of five energies. So you may pick up stories by watching it through numerology. Okay, so that's where you are now. 
<clears throat> we will clarify that, but with the other um, cards. So what is Taurus? What will Taurus be challenged with in the next 48 hours? What will they be challenged with? So they will. So you will be challenged with communicating, Virgo, lost energy, and then also the Page of Pentacles. So talking more like, I don't know, I mean like adults really. Like it's like trying to have an adult conversation with someone. This is also thinking, but it's challenging is to say, take the other person into consideration about what they want. Okay, because there could be a lot of arguments over children here. Mothers, fathers, you know, father or mother, like arguing, everything else, so on and so forth. And now I feel lost because I'm a lonely child. This could be like I'm on my own in all of this. Like I don't have any siblings or any help. No one really seems to be helping me. I'm on my own. I'm a lonely child, right? So your challenge is to overcome that. Okay, so it's to overcome this argument. So if this is like I go it alone, okay, and I walk, uh, what's that song? I walk alone. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, but like it's either going it alone and I go on my own, okay? Something here also around your children wanting to go it alone or go on their own. Like can I go abroad or can I go on holiday or can I do this on my own? Do I really need you in my life to be able to do this? Some of you, if you've got children around you and they're asking to go somewhere, I'm also hearing that that be a possibility for some of you where it's like, can I do this on my own? Okay, can I do this on my own? Because this could be a brother or a sister energy that is here, right? So, like, can I go it alone? So, um, so what I'm also hearing is furring Rachel, more so Rachel, Rashad Evans, Barry, Tina, Tyler, Taro, Tanya, Great Britannia. What happened to Tanya anyway? Um, anyway, so I'm picking this energy up of sorry. It's just I had a client called Tanya. Um, and she she had something that she wiped her eyes last time I heard from her, and then she disappeared off the face of the earth, and I've got no idea what happened to the woman. Like, I hope she's all right, but she was a client of mine, and um, she just went missing. <laughs> it's very strange. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, there's this energy here of someone going missing and don't know where they've gone. Like, uh, I, I just don't know where they are. Okay. Because they're not speaking, they're not saying anything. Like, I don't know, like, I just don't know where they are. So if someone stops speaking through this, like where you are now is arguing, okay, with a parent or an ex or something like that. And, like, your challenge is, is like, well, I'm now just going to disappear off the face of the earth, okay? Or they have disappeared, okay? Now, I'm also hearing I appear missing by Queens of the Stone Age, one of my favourite bands there. Um... Why is my camera literally pointing in a very strange odd? There you go. I thought it was in a strange position. Um, <clears throat> so I'm definitely hearing that as well. Like you're putting me in a very odd and a very strange position now because you've now compromised me. Now I've got no idea what to do. No idea, Elijah? Elijah, is that you, Elijah? Or Lee or Laura or Lucifer? But you put me in a very compromising position and now I don't know what to do. So... Hmm, where are we going with this reading? Because it keeps taking me in a certain direction without the cards. Um, it's kind of like being led astray, like I'm being led astray, like whispering in someone's ear or like, like I don't know, I can't make my own decision. Like people keep interrupting me or distracting me and like I, I fucking, you know, I don't know my own direction. Like um, it feels like that, like a message that keeps getting me to wander off the reading. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like a child. Be careful one of your children doesn't just, like, wander off. Like, you know, like you've got a very young child and all of a sudden they just decide to go AWOL. Like, they just decide to, like, you know, right, I'm going off to Tipperarily and I'm just going to wander off. Okay, that's if they're a very young child, okay, and they decide to wander off. Um, there could also be slight energy of, like, depression and ADD here because I'm hearing I'm finding it very difficult to focus here to focus on conversation, okay, and I just seem to, like, wander off all the time, like, looking in space, okay, and I'm, like, so there could be depression and ADHD here. Could be in the family of this child could um, could have ADHD and I'm finding it very difficult to focus because I keep wandering off, <laughs> okay. Um, so where else are we going with this reading? So, because I had loads of messages that were kind of coming through and now I'm kind of, 
So challenges, um, Taurus, is what you're going to be challenged with in a relationship is basically, if, if this is a relationship, right, and there's something going on in your relationship, it's, it's about overcoming this. It's about, like, talking. It, you know, it's just like, you know, instead of text messaging, this is where a lot of things, I believe, get broke down, okay, when you can't actually talk to someone when you need to, okay. Someone here really does need to talk to someone, is, is what I keep hearing. Like, I need to talk to you. Um, I'm just going to run with that message at the moment, Taurus. Uh, it could be a life path seven or a cancerian. Like, I'm just going to run. I'm going to run from you to you, number two. Could be a Libra, life path two or Libra somewhere involved. Um, so that's your challenge is, is to talk really or make up your own mind. Um, or this person to make up their own mind. I'm also hearing the song, Making My Mind Up. <laughs> um, so what should Taurus actually focus on within the next 48 hours? What should they focus on for Taurus? Well, Seven of Wands, you've got problems going on with the family for a lot of you here, in the, with the son or the daughter, like, could be here. Like, I've got a problem going on with my son or daughter, like, and I keep trying to work on it with them, but they don't want to know, or Connit or Michael, but they don't want to know. Like, I keep trying to work on this with them, and they don't seem to want to. Like, they keep blocking me off. They, you know, keep fucking me off, and they don't seem to, like, reach out or say anything, or they do, but we're so quick to judge and put up our defences against one another, and I keep trying to talk to you, but you're not interested, and you're not listening, and... Like, you know, you just keep wandering off without talking to me or telling me where you're going. And like, but I mean, if this is a grown fucking adult, then why the hell do they need to express where they're going? Because it feels like I'm constantly being fucking watched all the time and I'm sick to death of people constantly always keep watching what I'm doing and where I'm going and what I'm saying and where I'm, when I'm not saying anything. Like, I can't seem to say anything fucking right, can I? Like, if I say yes, it's wrong. If I say no, that's wrong also. So it's kind of like bollocks to it, man. In my challenge position, I'll do what the fuck I want here, right? And it feels like if I turn left, it's wrong. If I turn right, it's wrong. Like, so which way the hell do I go trying to communicate with someone in my life that just doesn't even seem to understand? Like, and I try to talk to them and they just cut me off and they're not interested. And, you know, I keep trying to tell them about my life, but I'm not really interested in fucking arguing. So bollocks to that, you know. And, um, and then, you know, what to focus on basically is, is like, well, I've got no choice, you know, you, you don't give me much option because all all you do where I am is just argue all the time. You, you're constantly always, like, aggressive. You know, why so aggressive? Why quick to judge? Why always throw it back in my face? Why always do all of these things? You know, why do I have to, like, now go it alone and cut off my family members that don't seem to pay a blind bit of fucking interest into what is going on with me? It's always about, well, what's going on with them? Or M, Emily, Miss Murray, Michael Jackson, Julie, Justin, Justin, Jack, and Justin, Jack. But like, what's going on with them? Oh, fuck them. What's going on with me? Like, why, why are you not bothered? Oh, okay, let's focus on you all the time. You're like, to be honest with you, Dave, I don't even fucking want that. Like, just leave me the hell alone. Right? Or Helen, the name Helen. But, um, oh, cool, stream close up, right? But, like, you know, just leave me the hell alone. Like, you know, why do you have to keep, like, interrupting and, like, doing this and saying that and blah, blah, blah? And, uh, I think there's a lot of this family. Like family shit, like, you know, just like son to me is always a father or mother, right? <clears throat> and it's kind of like they want to work on it, but <laughs> it's kind of like compromise. There don't seem to be any compromise, compromisation here. It's like I'm compromised by now knowing what to do and what to say, because if I say left, five of wands, if I say no, well, that's wrong. Okay, if I say yes, and you're never happy when I say yes, and you're like, well, no, you did say yes, and now it does make me happy. So focus on me being happy. And you're like, so I have to focus on you being happy. So I have to sacrifice everything about me to make you happy. Yeah. Okay, then let's work on it. For a lot of you, like I said, for a lot of you, there's this ego that kind of stands in the way of both of you in a relationship to say, you know what? Do you want to work on this relationship or don't you? 
You know, are we going to be fair in this relationship or are we not? You know, do you want to work on it? You're like, well, yeah, I do want to work on it. Of course I do. It's like, well, what do you want to work on? Well, for a start, you know, you need to stop, like, fucking having a go at me, right? And you need to stop, like, blaming me for shit because I'm sick to death of hearing that, right? So don't get so aggressive, right? Don't just be so quick to judge and, like, poke at me. And, like, you know, I'm not a dartboard, for God's sake, right? And then, like, what to focus on? It's like, oh, we'll work on it. But, you know, I've got boundaries when it comes to, like, having a go at me and making me feel shit. Like, yeah, but you make me feel shit too. So, well, what do you want to do about it? Well, I love you. I want to work on it. Of course I do. But we're going to have to find some kind of compromise, right? So, um, yeah. So what to focus on basically is having more um, healthy boundaries, like having more of a healthy boundary of, like, letting someone have it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, in relationships between masculine and feminine, this happens a fucking lot, right? Where someone starts getting aggressive and they start having a go at someone. When they have a go at someone, automatically the boundaries of anybody in life, a cat or a dog, they're going to get pissed off, right? So, like, when you have a go at me, it, it makes me fucking put my boundaries up and I actually don't want to listen to you. So don't do that for a start. Like, if you want to talk, then talk to me like an adult, right? Don't just text message and all that sort of shit. You know, just talk to me. Like, if you want to meet up and talk face-to-face, okay, instead of like, bing, let's talk about it like adults, right, here. So you kind of got that, where it's workable, but there needs to be more of a, a an easier approach of like, you know, don't don't come across as if you're playing mind games with me. Okay, and, like, talk to me about what it is, and then we can hash it out. But, you see, some people in life, they actually don't like arguing. And some people in life do. They believe, okay, if I've got a problem, the only way we're going to solve it is by hashing it out. Some people in life, like myself, being masculine, I actually don't. And I prefer to ignore people that argue. But that's my problem, you see. In order to work on a relationship, if someone likes to argue and you don't, you have to find a compromise if you want to work on it, right? So sometimes in life, Taurus, you have to realise, well, they like arguing, so let them argue with themselves, and then we'll just keep going through this until you get tired and drained, keep arguing, okay? Because I'll just end up blocking you out again because I don't like arguing. So I'm not going to stand around and listen to it, So I've got boundaries now. Like, I'm going to have boundaries, okay, whether I want to listen to it or not. But mm. So what have we done? 20. So now for four, I've got their thoughts about this, how they feel about you, card five, card six, what happens in the near future, seven, suggested approach, Uh, then what you need to know, hopes and fears, and then potential outcome of the week if we was doing the week. So I'm going to skip the majority of those and go into the hopes and the fears, right? Because you need to you need to pay some money <laughs> to go to Patreon to find out what they are. Right? But I've only just changed some of these now. So let's see what are in the hopes and the fears with Taurus's energy. Nine of Cups, Sagittarius, and Leo. Well, Aries, Leo, or Sag, but they can be paradoxed. See. Taurus, I'm doing a Taurus reading, right? Sagittarius is also a five card, right? So it means Taurus or Sag, right? Major arcana. So it's going to come up in this reading regardless of whether you have it or not. But you've got this energy here of, like, could be life path five, right? But you've got this energy of hopes and fears is the fact that someone calms the fuck down and stops being so five, right? Stop being so tempered. Stop losing your shit. Stop arguing, right? I really don't like that. We can heal this. We can get through it. I hope that we can, because I do want to work on this. But you're more than likely just as stubborn as what I am. Stop keep looking for that one thing that is um, wrong in the relationship. Right? Nine can be, okay, I'm not happy. Oh, about what? I'm not the Ten of Cups, right? I'm not happy. You're not happy. So what are you not happy about now? Well, let me just tell you. And you're like, uh, 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 Dave, let's go back to scene one. Where are we now? Arguing. Where will we be again, Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, if this happens again? Well, to back to the nine. The one thing that I'm doing wrong. What's that? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Fuck that, Dave. Stop doing it. 
Okay. Scene three, what to focus on. Okay. So you get this energy of in your hopes and fears, someone just calms down, focuses more on the relationship. Now this can be passion, love and sex and trying to put some sort of oomph into the relationship, right? But like I said, if there is mental illness, you've got to be very careful around those kind of things because to work on a relationship and a marriage or any kind of commitment when there is mental health is a lot more challenging than just a normal relationship. A lot more challenging, right? I have ADHD. Power to the people, but I do. It's very challenging, right? So you've got this energy of passion, love, and sex in the hope and the fear of both of you. Is it going to work out? Okay. We need to spend some quality time with one another in order to be able to bring the passion and the love back into the relationship, but we need to become to an understanding, okay, an understanding, because this can be very sexually minded, like I am sex mad, like sex crazed, because this can be a, like I said, it can be way too much, like this can be a predatorial energy of like, I constantly think about sex 24 seven, this mixture with this energy is I'm thinking about sex all of the time, right here, nine of one, nine of cups is, I can't seem to get turned on or <clears throat> like I can't seem to get to the peak of like orgasm like I can't seem to get to the the point of that I feel satisfied like it's finding it very difficult to feel like I'm satisfied right so your challenge well your hopes and your fears is is all that can somehow find some sort of like satisfaction okay Jackson but some sort of satisfaction right so there you go that's how I read let me show you your cards very quickly. But if you're a newcomer, that is pretty much my style of reading and how I do it. Um, I would normally clarify things with these, which are like attention seeking and God knows what else. And we would look into this. But because Taurus, I, I only normally have 500 people that watch Taurus readings. And I would, to be honest with you, I've got other readings to do. So uh, your reading, your full reading of all 10 questions and clarified by that, I think, um, is over on Patreon on the silver or the gold tip. Please help me help you. If you want more readings, then smash that like button, okay, and share it on multimedia if you can. Make sure you hit the bell and subscribe and show all and everything else. So if you want your uh, full reading, the link provided below is Patreon. You'll need the silver or the gold tier in order to have access to everything on there. If you go to the gold tier, everything on there is monthlies, weeklies, and all the teaching. Silver is monthlies and weeklies. Okay, because there's a lot of teaching tier, teaching stuff on the gold tier, right? Uh, if not, and you want to join the button below, that is where I do free questions and answers to people that have joined. You have to come up in blue. Okay, uh, I go live every other night, and we do questions and answers. You give me a name, you give me a question, I give you a couple of free cards and give you your answer, okay? Each time I go live. Then we also do deceased loved ones. When I go live, we also channel your deceased loved one, parent, guardian, anybody, okay? That is what you get for 2 or $3 on the join button, okay? Thanks very much, Taurus. Really appreciate it, and I'll hopefully see you on the other side.